last year the NSA uh, proposed to repurpose the half-built MOX building. And of course, that's been the main uh, discussion for a long period of time, an area of confusion. And uh, but that's the one that's located in um, South Carolina to produce plutonium pits. Los Alamos National Lab would still operate and uh, in the current facility in New Mexico producing 30 pits a year, while South Carolina, I think, would be in the neighborhood of some uh, 50 uh, more to meet the STRATCOM requirement, which is for 80 by what year, 2030. So Secretary Perry, why don't you explain why the department chose last year to construct a plutonium pit production facility in South Carolina? And what advantages would this option bring in addition to the current smaller capability in Los Alamos? Mr. Chairman, I think for um, so many years, as you know as well as anyone in this room, uh, the challenge that we've had with the uh, mixed oxide facility in South Carolina. Don't want to relitigate that at all. Uh, what I would like to do is say thank you to the members who. Uh, agreed that uh, this was not a, uh, a program that needed to go forward and, and you had the courage to uh, work with us and, and others to, uh, to terminate that mm. and then to transition that, uh, that facility. Yeah, because uh, you're talking about a very large investment that we've had in the past and uh, we're interested in saying what's the most we can get out of it now. Yes, sir. And, and, and I think there is now, uh, we, we are on a track that will take us to uh, a, a reasonable um, development there. Um, Los Alamos is, and as Nender Heinrich knows, will always be the center for uh, pit production, the, the center of excellence in the world for plutonium pit production. Pits zero through 30 will be done there. Uh, there is an additional $5 billion that is headed towards that uh, facility in Los Alamos. Uh, it, it will be a, a substantial uh, buildup. Uh, they're going to continue to play, I will suggest, uh, the lead role uh, in the, the, the immediate out years. Uh, as you mentioned, Mr. Chairman, by 2030, there will be the requirement to do 50 pits. And uh, the decision uh, was uh, investigated, decision made, that you could bifurcate that effort with the continual focus on Los Alamos and have pits 31 through uh, 80 be done at this Savannah River site. Um, you know, we, we, can, we can discuss further about the, the, that decision making, but the, both the DOD, uh, those in the, uh, uh, the, the nuclear weapons yeah. world uh, agree uh, that that is a legitimate, thoughtful way to go forward with the, the oh. pit production. So uh, there, there's some other uh, potentials at uh, uh, Savannah River as well, but uh, the, the main legacy program that would come out of the repurposing of the MOX facility will be uh, the development of those pits 31 through 80 at yeah, Savannah uh, River. Okay, I understand that, and I appreciate that very much, but uh, Secretary Gordon Haggerty, uh, there are a lot of people speculating that we may not, may not be able to reach those goals. And, uh, and in fact, the, in the NSA's own analysis, it suggests that reaching the 80 by 2030 is going to be a problem. So no matter what the location of the production, how do you plan to mitigate in the event we don't make it? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> and as the Secretary said, this is going to be a challenging undertaking for the NSA and for our entire nuclear security enterprise. Um, when the Nuclear Weapons Council determined that uh, based on STRATCOM requirements, that we needed to produce not less than 80 plutonium pits per year by 2030. It was a challenge. Uh, I need not remind members of this committee that the United States has not had a plutonium pit production capability since the early 1990s. And it's well past time that we uh, provide a resilient, and, a resilient infrastructure for our nuclear weapon deterrent 
and the focus of that is on plutonium pit production now and in the future. In order to do that, we believe that a two-pronged strategy is the most affordable and optimal way to get to the 80 pits per year by 2030. And again, it's not less than 80 pits. So we have a lot of challenges ahead of us. We believe that our two-pronged approach where we're undertaking the investments, the significant investments, as the Secretary stated, at Los Alamos, which will provide several hundred million dollars over several years mm -hmm. in order to increase the production capacity as well as the infrastructure necessary at Los Alamos, oh. as well as the uh, facility at South Carolina. We're making significant investments in that to be undertake the preconceptual design, and we're put placing where we're seeking four hundred and ten million dollars to continue that repurposing of the facility at South Carolina. Well, well my, my time has expired, and I want to make sure we get to everyone here, but just let's do this for the record. Let's look, when, when we see a staggering figure like $677 billion, referring to the Hanford site, you know, that doesn't seem achievable to me, and right now we're in the middle of a budget, and that sounds, that's overwhelming. So I, I would like, for the record, for each one of you to spend some time to analyze how that can be diminished. I'm talking about changing the, say, using grout instead of glass or uh, any number of things for the record, not at this time. Yes, Thank sir. you very much, uh, Senator Reed.